Hi, you are listening to episode 89 of the Confident Coaches Podcast, the one where you unbox your magnificence once and for all. Let's go. Welcome to the Confident Coaches Podcast, a place for creating the self-confidence you need to do your best work as a life coach. If you want to bring more boldness, more resilience, and more joy to your work, this is the place for you. I'm your host, Amy Latta. Let's dive in. Hello, my confident coach. How are you today? I hope you are doing absolutely fabulous. And no matter how you are feeling right now, I'm just going to say that I cried conceptualizing this podcast episode. I cried putting my notes together for it. And I might cry giving it to you right now. So whether you are on fire whether you are just kind of fair to Midland, whether you are down in the dumps, I want you to take a moment and center yourself and get ready to hear what I'm going to share with you today. Because this is somewhat of a recent discovery, but I would say it's less of a recent discovery and more of a transformation, breakthrough to the next level. And I want to offer it to each of you. Today's episode was inspired by a recent visit to, for lack of better words, my energy healer. So Dr. Wendy is a doctor of chiropractic and an intuitive healer. She uses applied kinesiology, cold lasers, acupuncture, acupressure, stones, crystals, minerals, oils. She has an innate ability that she has had ever since she was a little girl to read your body. And she puts all of these modalities together to help you release physical pain that is stemming from past trauma, that's stemming from emotional pain, and to just kind of get your shit back in alignment. Like she's truly magnificent. And I'm not even remotely doing her justice when I try to describe what she does. And it's been probably, I don't know, four years, well over four years, I went to her for some acute pain that I was having. I kept having this recurring pain in my lower abdomen that nobody else could really seem to help me figure out because every test that was run, every ultrasound that was run, like there was nothing there. And yet I'm like, okay, but I'm like in sharp pain in this spot. So I went to her and we worked through that pain. And over four years later, I still see her every five to eight weeks. <laughs> so I was just going to go for a few sessions. And now the woman cannot get rid of me. And a couple of weeks ago, I had gone in and I had told her, I'm like, I'm just this big ball of something and I can't quite pinpoint what it is. And I shared with her a lot of the thought work that I've been doing, a lot of the coaching I've been doing. And sure enough, I get down on the table and she just starts releasing a whole pool of shame that I was spinning in. So I'm releasing after, of course, some major resistance, I start releasing this shame. She's, you know, work doing her thing that she does to help you do that. And her her hands were on the back of my neck. She was using this acupressure technique to kind of help release that resistance that I was having. And then she gasped. <gasps> and she said, in that moment, so clearly, she saw and she felt an indigo rod of light beaming through my body from head to toe, just right through me. And she shared that indigo was what's considered the God color. It's like the color of, you know, a higher level. And from that moment forward, I started calling it the God Rod. So hence the name of this episode, Unleashing Your God Rod. And, and actually, I should be fair, very quick diversion over here. I actually can't remember if I started calling it the God Rod or if one of my peer coaches, one of my peers in my mastermind, Simone, she and I were talking about this. She might have named it the God Rod. I can't remember which one of us came up with that name, but that's what we shall name it from this point forward. 
And I haven't been able to stop thinking about this idea of this God rod ever since. Because here's what I know. I am not special. I don't have anything that anyone else doesn't have. Like, you know, that whole idea of like, yes, of course, you're a special little unicorn. And also you aren't a special little unicorn. Like, yes, there's literally no one else like you on this planet. And also there is no one person that's missing anything or lacking anything or has anything that nobody else has. Like all of the goodness is available to all of us. I like to think of it like this, like when we're formed by God, the universe, source, spirit, whatever spiritual practice you ascribe to is fine. But when we're formed, I like to think that we are put together from the same buffet of magnificence, right? Like just imagine this entire buffet of magnificence laid out in front of us. And when we're formed, we're all just different combinations of all of that magnificence. We're just like a different plate, right? We all have magnificence, but it's all just kind of like our own unique version of whatever that is. It's just like when my husband and I go up to a buffet, we're eating all the same food and yet somehow our plates look entirely different, right? Like that's how I can best understand how we're all special and unique and yet we are all of the same goodness. So Dr. Wendy, feeling and seeing this indigo light beaming throughout my body, it wasn't something that just suddenly magically appeared in that moment. It's not like that wasn't there at all, and now it suddenly magically appears. It's always been there. I was just ready to allow it to come up to the surface because it had been buried under piles of rules and judgment and inadequacy and shame and all my shit, right? And knowing that and understanding that every single one of you has a God rod too. You know, and I'm thinking about this, about how we function in the world and how we operate in the world. And what we will often do is we'll box up this magnificence, this God rodness that we all have in order to not shine too bright, in order to not intimidate others who are completely unaware that they have a God rod inside of them also right? Like this is kind of those societal rules that we put on ourselves. Think about a newborn baby. No one ever looks at a newborn baby and says, you can't shine this brightly. You're too much. No, we raise that baby and we marvel in its God rodness, right? We marvel in its magnificence. We marvel in its coos and its this and that, that. And then at some point, something happens and we start hearing the message, getting the message either overtly or very directly that it's too much and we need to tone it down. I like to think of kind of like a box in a basement metaphor. Right. So like we're literally talking about unboxing, unleashing this God rod. So what makes us box it up in the first place? Because it's not just in me. It's not just in a couple of you. It's in every single one of you. And our soul's purpose here on earth is to uncover the layers that we've put on top of it so that we can go serve the people that we want to help. So I want you to imagine a basement. Now, this is a very common thing to have in the Midwest. If you don't know what I'm assuming, I'm assuming everybody listening knows what a basement is, but that's basically... When you build a house here in the Midwest, they actually dig a giant hole in the ground first and they put a basement and then you build your house from the ground level up. Now, some basements are unfinished. Some are finished. Some of them are terrifying and scary that you have to go down dark, creepy stairs. You've seen horror movies, right? (laughs) Some of them are just a different part of the house and it's just as glorious and just as beautiful. But every single basement has that area of storage. Like I have never met a basement, I've never been in a basement that didn't have a storage area. So imagine that every single one of us is born into this world with our God rod, bright and big and bold, right? Again, everybody marvels at a newborn baby. 
And then at some point, we start hearing that it's too much, at times not enough, your brightness is fine, but you're going to need to tone it down for when you're in school, your brightness is okay, but you need to only let it out in certain ways, there's a right way to let out your brightness, there's a wrong way to do it, and you're probably doing it wrong, you know, this is what a proper lady does, this is what a successful person looks like, this is what is acceptable, and this is what is not acceptable. So if we're thinking about this basement analogy, as we start to build our house up, i.e. start building our life and living our life, we start to think, maybe I should just put my God rod in a box, (laughs) right? I'm only supposed to bring it out on special occasions. And if you got a basement, you know what I mean? Like, I'm only supposed to bring out that antique china I inherited from my grandma in the very utmost of special occasions, right? Right. Anybody who's ever had a basement has that box of special heirlooms that you keep that you mean to bring out on special occasions, but eventually you kind of forget the box is there, right? Because what happens? We put that box on a shelf and then it gets buried under years and even decades of living. The point where we forget that that box is even there and decades later, and usually not until we're ready to move, we got to go clean up the basement and we have to uncover layers of shit that we've piled on top of this box, right? Like that's the basement, but that's what we're doing too, to our own boxed up God rod. We are putting layers of rules that we have followed, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, the accompanying judgment, the accompanying inadequacy and worry and anxiety and shame, making it so hard to even find that God rod. Again, when I'm laying on that table and Dr. Wendy is suddenly so aware of this brilliant indigo blue, she didn't put it there. We had just finally uncovered the years of all my shit. We'd finally like released the last piece and it was free to pop out and be open. Now, We're used to thinking that we need to do this process in a very orderly manner, meaning I need to shed the layers before I can let that light shine. I need to make sure that my house is clean before I invite anybody over. I need to make sure that my shit's together before I can go and help other people. And this is where we're all dead wrong because what I myself have learned in The process of creating and coaching over a hundred people through Confident Coaches Mastermind. And if you are an organizer and still thinking about that literal basement, I might be freaking you out right now, but we're talking now about your confidence and your God rodness and it being boxed up on a shelf and letting it free. I'm going to tell you right now, you know where the damn box is You know where it is, you know how to access it, and you do not have to have a completely clean basement in order to let it free. You don't have to worry about tidying up the rest of it in order to pull off that box. You can go diving in right now. Yeah, sure, you're going to scatter around the rules and the judgment and the fear and the inadequacy. And yes, we do need to clean that up with some thought work, but you don't have to have it all cleaned up first before you do the unveiling. You can just go in there and you can pull it out and you can release that magnificence right now. And why wouldn't you? Because part of the rules, part of what's acceptable and not acceptable is this unwritten rule that we can't fuck up, that we can't be a hot mess, that we have to have all of our shit together before we can go help other people. And that is not true. You can go unbox your Magnificent right now. You know it's there. You know it's there because you wouldn't be so dead set on being a life coach and helping other people and knowing in your bones that you can't not do this. And that's why you keep coming back. That's why you keep trying. That's why you keep stop and starting over and over again. If you didn't know that that box was there and it was filled with all of the brilliance and the magnificence and the inherent awesomeness that you know is inside of you. And you know it's there because that's the burning desire. That's the purpose. That's the why you got to go help other people and you can't not do it. It's that God rod going, let me out. I need to shine. And listen, 
This isn't a problem that needs fixed. The only problem that you have is not that you are a people pleaser or you are a rule follower. You're not just somebody who just, I just play it safe. I just get in my own way. I just self-sabotage. I'm a self-sabotager. I'm a procrastinator. I am a perfectionist. This is who I am. I'm struggling so hard and I need to figure out how to get over this. No, the only problem that you have is you're believing a thought that you do not have to believe anymore. Honestly, that is your only thing that you got to do. This is not a problem. This is the best news ever. Because the only thing that stands between you and shining that bright light, unleashing that God rod, standing on the edge of a cliff and shining your lighthouse out into the ocean, the only thing that's standing between that and you is a thought. Is you believing you can do what you've never done before. You learning how to unbelieve what's been stopping you all of these years and learn to believe something else instead. You are this glorious God rod. It is burning inside of you and it's what's going to draw your ideal clients to you. I teach in Confident Coaches Mastermind that all marketing is, I mentioned it a little bit already, is being a lighthouse on the edge of a cliff, shining out into deep, dark ocean waters. And there are lighthouses up and down the seaboard, but you are going to shine your magnificence out there into the dark and your ships, your clients will see your light, your bright, magnificent, turquoise or neon or multicolored or indigo god rod light, whatever yours is, they will see it and they will take one look at you and they will say, that is my person. That's who can help me. That's it right there. And as terrifying as it might be to unleash that god rod, to unleash that magnificence, The only reason that it's scary is because you've been told you're not supposed to. The only reason it feels terrifying is because you are bumping up against years or decades of being told to keep it down, keep it quiet, don't rock the boat. This is how things are and aren't. These are the rules about money. These are rules about success. These are the rules about being a woman. These are the rules that you're supposed to follow. And shining your light means. You're going to have to buck up against those rules. That's what's scary. And so it's okay if it's terrifying, if you're scared, but you know that helping other people, living your life's purpose is something you can't not do. Now, obviously, the best way to unbox your God rod and to learn to feel that discomfort of shining bright when you've always been told to stay dim, obviously it's to get your butt in Confident Coach's Mastermind because this is what we do. This is literally what we do week in and week out. This is the program that helps unbox and unleash that magnificence, no matter how messed up, no matter how all over the place that you have been told that you are, right? Like, I even want to challenge that you're a hot mess express. I want to challenge that you fuck up on a regular basis. No, you're just a human being with brilliance inside of you. And you can help so many people right now. You don't have to go fix any of that. We just have to uncover the thoughts that you're thinking where you've decided to turn that light down, where you've decided to put it in a box instead of let it shine bright. And amylatta.com forward slash mastermind. Go there because that's how you get into Competent Coaches Mastermind. This is the work we do day in and day out. But I want to leave you with something to connect with your inner God rod right now here on the podcast. Okay? So right now, listening to me, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go outside. I want you to stand barefoot on the earth. Dirt, grass, whatever the best you can do. And while you are barefoot on the earth, I want you to close your eyes. Yeah, right now. Go do this right now. Go pull off those socks. If you're listening to this on the day it's releasing, you probably don't have socks on because it's the middle of July. (laughs) Go outside right now in your bare feet. And I want you to stand on the earth. I want you to close your eyes and take 
a deep breath in. And I want you to breathe slowly and quietly until you start to feel that relaxation in your body. I like to call these one, two breaths, meaning for every breath you're taking in, you breathe out for two, or you're breathing in for three and you're breathing out for six, or you're breathing in for four and you're breathing out for eight. The number itself is not nearly as important as you're breathing in and you're exhaling for twice as long. And as you're breathing that and you're feeling your feet on the earth, I want you to notice the drop in your shoulders, your chest raised just a little bit. And I want you to ask yourself, as you're continuing that breathing, what feels like love? Picture something that is the closest feeling of love that you can remember. And I want you to fixate on that visual of what love is to you. And as you continue breathing slowly in and out, visualizing what love is to you, and your shoulders are dropping and your head is raising, and you allow your feet and your toes to stand firm in the ground. And I want you to now direct your attention down your chest, down your torso, into your pelvis and down into your legs, and down into your feet. And then I want you in your next breath to feel the oxygen and the energy and the flow up from the ground into your feet as you inhale and then you exhale and you breathe it back out again. So Now I want you to think about doing that breathing. Now it's up from your feet as you inhale and then down through your feet as you exhale. And you continue this process until you can feel the energy coming up from the earth and into your body and you're settling into the energy of the ground. Now, this entire process can take just a couple of minutes. It's perfect whenever you're feeling just a bit discombobulated, unsure, when your actions start to look like the actions of people-pleasing, when it looks like the actions of getting in your own way, are the actions of playing it safe. Remember, that's not who you are and what you just do. It's literally just an action that you're taking because of something that you're thinking. This process is called grounding. and It's a perfect couple of minutes exercise to get your God rod magnificent light energy back into its place, to start to tap into that energy. And when you pair this With master level coaching, like no bullshit allowed confidence coaching, you become the very definition of unstoppable. So my friends, there's a little exercise to get in touch with your God rod energy. You don't have to go hire Dr. Wendy, but I'll tell you right now, it takes a while to get in to see her, but she's magnificent. But you don't have to do all of that. That grounding exercise plus deep mindset coaching that calls you out on your bullshit, and really all it is is it calls you out on the rules that you're agreeing with that you don't have to, right? Get in touch with that energy that is already there. You don't have to go find it. You don't have to go seek it out. You don't have to go like pick up the pieces and assemble it. It's already inside you. And then pair that with master level confidence coaching. And there's nothing that can stop you. All right, coaches. Until next week, let's go fuck some shit up. Coaches, I have created a brand new freebie offer just for you podcast listeners. I created a brand new training called Stop Overcomplicating Confidence because I see my coaches do it all the time, make this confidence thing way harder than it has to be. In this free training, you're going to learn exactly how you overcomplicate confidence, what's creating that, and how to stop it. Here's the best part. All of it, less than an hour. Less than an hour of your time, you will feel more confident in less than an hour, right? Yeah, friends, this is the best training I've ever done. So visit amylatta.com forward slash podcast gift to get yours. Again, that's amylatta.com forward slash podcast gift. Go now and feel more confident in just an hour. Thanks so much for listening to the Confident Coaches Podcast. I invite you to learn more. Come visit me at amylatta.com. And until next week, 
Let's go do epic stuff. 